All right, gonna decorate one of the gingerbread men now. Time to wash hands again first. So here's all the gingerbread men. I'm just gonna choose one to do with you guys. And then you can have fun this afternoon decorating all of yours. I hope you've had a good day, by the way. So I've got some sweets so I can do like eyes and things. I've also got these icing pens so I can draw some features on. And I've also got some icing sugar, which then I can use to stick the sweets onto the gingerbread man. It's all powdery, much as it goes in. Put some in the bowl. Oh, you see that coming off? And then just put a little bit of water in at a time and mix it and mix it until it's thick enough for you to use almost like glue. So I've put a little bit of water in there to start with because otherwise sometimes it goes really runny. So I'm just gonna stir, whoops, going over. Just gonna stir the icing sugar. Can you see? It's turning all gooey. Good old stir. Can you see that? It turns into that runny icing that you can put on top of cakes and things. Mm -mm. I'm gonna use this, like I said, like a bit like glue, so I can put some sweet in for the eyes and things. One blob, two blobs, and then I'm gonna stick my little sweets on there. One blob, there's another one. There's the other one. Look at this. This is eyes. I'm gonna use these icing pens to like draw on some face features like um, his nose and mouth. He's red for his big smiley mouth. See that? See that? And then I might give him a red nose as well. Got a nose. And then, I think you might need some buttons, don't you? So I'm gonna use my icing sugar, the icing that I've made here. Just do some blobs for his buttons. One, whoops. Two, give him two buttons. You have some red buttons. And there we go. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Now I've got in here are some of my gingerbread family that I try to give some of them different facial expressions. That this is where he's running away going, no, don't catch me. And he's feeling sad. And this is when the fox catches him and he's about to go in the mouth. And this one here is when he thinks he's doing really well because he's running away from everyone. Oh, I can't wait to see a picture of yours. When you've decorated yours, then you can sit down and relax and eat one while you listen to the last fairy tale of the day, Jack and the Beanstalk, read by Miss Downham. I hope you had a good day. Well done, Puffins.